Warning, this podcast contains a lot of dead Santa Clauses. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SCNOTV podcast for The Vampire Diaries, Season 7, Episode 9, Cold as Ice. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, Dom. With me, my co-host, Nikki. Hi-yo. 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 Um, M- Mike, down there. Foreigner is now stuck in my head. <laughs> She's as cold as ice. And uh, Damn straight. And and with me is the huffity-puffity one herself, Kim. Hi. You're, you're very jingly tonight. <laughs> Are, are you gonna apply for a job at the Salvation Army? Oh my God, no! Oh my God, you don't even know that story, and you made jingle, that joke. Jingle, 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 jingle. No, I was creeped on at work by the Salvation Army guy. <laughs> Maybe I did know the joke, and that's why I brought it up. But <laughs> what you did? What would you guys think of this episode? Was this was there this a very festive episode? I see we're all festive tonight. All four of us are extremely festive tonight. It was festive. It was a definite Christmas special, but um, I'm not really impressed with the episode completely. Some parts are really good. Other parts, not so much. We only had a small flash forward scene. We didn't... We didn't even get an end cap. We usually get a, you know, bookmarking flash forwards, and, and we did not get that. We started off no. with, with Stefan and Valerie in a relationship at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, yeah. Uh, yeah, three years in the future. I was like, really? Yeah, really? so was I. I was disgusted. <laughs> well, we yeah, know Stefan sure. and Caroline aren't together anymore. No. No. And I'm going to assume that this had something to do with it. Which would explain why Caroline is so mad to the point where she doesn't ever want to hear the name Stefan again in the future. So, yeah. You know, and then her being engaged to Alaric and, you know, all that. Everything's starting to, to add up. But it's just, it's getting there is, is what I'm more curious in. And you got well. You start to see in this episode of Alark being a little bit more attentive. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like he's that, playing that, daddy, daddy husband role. Yeah, mm-hmm. daddy husband. It's definitely getting you're getting that that glimpse. That that Lamaze class was amazing. Nope. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if that was her Lamaze trying to eat somebody <laughs> more than just like because M- Lamaze. Like, I always remember Lamaze being, like, the exercise part of pregnancy. Well, yeah, it's the exercise part of the, the breathing and everything, but there is mental preparation to it as well. I mean, I, I'm, not speaking from, class. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience, because I've never gone to Lamaze class, but in, in various adaptations that I've seen, it, it's, I don't know about in real life, but in the adaptations, it's been both a menticle, 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 that's menticle. a new word. <laughs> menticle. <laughs> menticle and, and how, how can I twist physical, mental and physical? <laughs> like I don't know. I I, com- I combine mental, mental and physical to get mental. So he's yes. broken. He can't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. <laughs> yep. Nice job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> nope. Me neither. My mental capacities cannot even fathom <laughs> what is going on right now. Um, but yeah, so the the class, regardless of what it was, was definitely one of the more entertaining scenes. And her yeah. giving in to her weird, crazy hormones is definitely... It was very interesting. She's probably it's the first vampire in the world that has ever had to deal with uh, vampire hormones. You know, I saw you mix blood to... with a jar of mayonnaise. Yeah. It was marshmallow fluff. That's what she says to probably make it sound less disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was but, definitely um... marshmallow fluff, but uh, um, 
I want to know, how are the kids affected with the blood consumption? Like, because they're not vampire children in her stomach. No, um, but it still sustains her body, and her body is the vessel, so it's probably some witch voodoo that makes it work. I guess. Well, her body still has to get nutrients and stuff, because that, yeah. that's what's going into the babies, not what you actually eat. Mm -hmm. But is there nutrient in blood? Oh, Enough yeah. to sustain a vampire. Well, yeah, it's... it's and nutrient. we know from this universe that Caroline can go out and eat normal human food, and it her body will digest it and all that, and it goes through, just like us. Just doesn't give her what she needs to live. Right. I guess. What I just I don't know. I like the the class though when when they would ask a question and and Caroline would be there with like the textbook answer. You know, and and Alaric was like, "Oh, you didn't think I'd be reading the same books as you?" <laughs> like I gotta keep up. Not to mention he's a teacher. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm like I'm sure he's reading. Come on now. Yep. But all the whispers, the whispers of of of. I mean, it's an obvious... I bet she's doing well in his class. <laughs> like, I'm going to go set them straight. I'm going to go talk to them very, very nicely while her eyes are going all demon mode. Like, I'm going to go have a very lovely conversation with these two people. Yeah. Before I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They deserved it. They're assholes. Mm -hmm. She's going to eat them mixed with marshmallow fluff. It's almost in, uh, in um, Nina's absence that uh, Candace has kind of taken over as, like, the leading lady. Where, um... Uh, I can't think of... The, what's the actress that plays Bonnie? Um... I can't think of her name. Cat. It's Cat. Cat Graham. Uh, where, where Cat's still kind of, like, this... The support... Support, character. support character. Yeah. And that's, I, that's I really kind of bothering me. I don't know. I don't see Bonnie as being a main character i don't ever she always was a support character because so like was caroline though i yeah you know they both would disappear for episodes on end and you wouldn't yeah. see them at all like i how long was there a stretch of in season two without any bonnie whatsoever yeah because she was she was off away as far as we know she was dealing with her with death and stuff like both yeah. Caroline and Bonnie were working the Toys for Tots thing at the at Whitmore College, you know, we we got a lot of information there, but Caroline had that whole, you know, the Lamaze class thing going on where Bonnie just kind of was at the Toys for Tots well, thing the whole time. A main story point of this season is the babies and she just happens to be carrying those right. babies, so she's going to be main focus. No, well, I get mm -hmm. that. I get that. But I Bonnie's been a character that's really interested me for so long and she's she never really gets the the amount of time I think she deserves. Like last season, you know, she had a, a decent story going on with Damon and that was really mm -hmm. interesting and, and that right there I thought proved that she could be a leading character. There's just so much stuff going on right now. I think that yeah, it's it's I mean, Caroline's focus right now. It's it's she's, just, it's. I mean, sorry. She's a leading character because she's almost reoccurring almost every episode this season so far. Because she's connected to Elena, who is also that is also a main story point. Mm -hmm. I guess. Don't you? I guess me. I guess. I guess. It's still going to be Stefan and Damien as, as, as the front runners. There is no... I well, really yeah, think the show that is, all of the... is 100 percent them. It's always been <clears throat> the show has been more about the brothers than it's ever been the girls. Yeah. Yeah. So I. And think speaking of them, I think there's support characters anyway in general. Caroline just is taking the forefront as a support character. Yeah. Yeah. No. But uh, yeah, like Mike said, speaking of them, Stefan and Damon go to uh, Sunbury. Nearby town of Sunbury. 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 What it was Sunbury? very Christmassy. What a terrible like, super pun. Christmas. What a terrible pun that town is. <laughs> Vampires die in sunlight. Sunbury. Very, very terrible pun. Um, to track Julian, um, we get to see Damon taking the eggnog crawl. <laughs> Which was hilarious. How many <laughs> bars does that small town have? 
Small towns are, what are you talking about? Small towns are half bars. Like the whole half the town are bars. That's how that's how that works. Because like now you have nothing else to do in a little town but drink. You come down to visit me where I am right now, and the the road from here to the beach is sixteen bars. I think it is. And I don't classify you as small town. This this is kind of a small town. Mm, all right. The area is a small town. Yeah. I mean, every suburb is kind of their own little town. They just happen yeah. to be connected by big roads to other places. Yeah. But that's what they do. They have that's that's what they do. They drink so small towns. They usually have at least two to three bars, depending. And that's just a sm- I'm talking about tiny towns. Right. Have like at least two to three. You know, but they're they're on this mission to track down Julie, and they had Bonnie. Was it Bonnie that did the locator spell, or was it one of the yes. heretics? Yeah. It was Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah. And then they called her up to try to like zoom in. And she's like, "That's not how it works at all." But <laughs> when they're going, like Damon just keeps stopping at every bar along the way. Which is fine, because that's typical Damon. And then he finds one bar um, where there's all these dead Santas. And they're like, okay, so maybe if you weren't stopping at every bar along the way, we would have gotten here sooner. Or maybe if he didn't stop at every bar along the way, you never would have found it, Stefan. You know, how about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is that. Stefan just irritated me this episode. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he kind of had that whole, you know, must get vengeance kind of deal going on. He's 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 playing the Damon character, and Damon's he being the, was like, whatever. playing the Damon. No, right. he wasn't. Yeah. No, no, Damon is still playing Damon. Well, okay, I mean, but I mean, he's it. Stefan's taking the more like angry route. Than yeah, Stefan's so just dude. an idiot. No, it, no, because. <laughs> This whole it's thing, like, like Damon has always been the impulsive one to to mm-hmm. never act on anything but in the moment. And Stefan is methodically planning this guy's murder and his demise. So Stefan is still being Stefan. Mm-hmm. He's just out for vengeance right now. If Damon, Damon wanted just to kill like, him, there would be no plan. Mm-mm. He He'd would just, just walk and snap his neck and walk away. Yeah. Uh, if, you know, if Damon would have went through with killing him in the first place instead of, you know... Walking in and being like, hi, you know, so here's this like oddly veiled story about how Stefan wants to kill you, but I'm going to tell you through innuendo and not directly. <sighs> this is true. It's all Damon's fault. He you fucked know, all like of this up. Two episodes ago. You know what Stefan's doing that. right now? It was more than that. It was like he's, he's setting up like a Fred trap in Scooby Doo. That's what Stefan's doing. <laughs> He's going to hit the button, and it's going to, like, there's going to be pulleys, and there's going to be things. Whereas, you know, Damon would go and just snap the neck and be done. Whereas Stefan's going to watch his contraption go and be like, oh! Yeah, he's and watching his friend contraption go, on. and suddenly Shaggy and Scooby wound up caught instead of the monster. Mm-hmm. Exactly. See, I, you guys are talking about Scooby-Doo, and I have more of a Wiley e. Coyote kind of vibe going on here, where everything no. just blows up in his face, everything that he tries to do. It's the same concept. It it's is. just a different cartoon. Mm-hmm. Well, so Wile E. Coyote uses like ropes and wood, and somehow it explodes. <laughs> so here's my question: You say his acme bombs? What are you talking about? <laughs> so now that they've done the first half of the season, where they've been giving us brief glimpses of flash forward, right? Mm-hmm. Are they going to do the second half of the se- season post? three-year jump and just give us brief glimpses of flashback? we're we're getting a three-month jump coming back from our actual three-month break. So Ah. it's going to be real time uh, has passed between this episode and the next one. Okay. I like my idea. But um, anyway, uh, Damon, this whole episode, wanted to give up. Yeah. He just wanted to throw the towel in and not deal with it. Even though he was all gung-ho for helping his brother avenge the murder of his child before. Um, but now he's just like, forget it, because Lily and things are traumatic. And you even saw at the funeral earlier in the episode. He just didn't give a shit. You know? So... But does he give a shit? Is he being Damon? Damon usually gives a shit, but acts like he doesn't give a shit. No, he doesn't give a shit. I don't think he really gives a shit. No, not about Lily. Not yet. Hmm. He'll he'll give a shit in three months, but I think he feels guilty, but he doesn't know for what though. He doesn't he doesn't feel guilt yet. It's not yet. He I, I guarantee think he you. Does. I, I guarantee think he does. I'm not he saying he, no guilt yet. I'm not saying he's feeling guilty he's, for something specific. He's just overall feeling down because something happened. 
or it's Correct. just not going his way. He's got he's got something going on in his brain because he's mm-hmm. doing all of the he's acting out. He's doing his acting out a little bit. He's not going full scale act out, but he's doing his his drinking and his uh, I don't give a shit and his his he's always his, his drinking. Game and, no, but this is different. More so, like because I have gone back and I have watched a good amount, and when he has his little down moments, he does drink a hell of a lot more, and that's exactly what's happening right that's now. That's what he's doing right now. He's down. He's, he's, yeah. he's, he's doing the Damon act out, and it, and it's and he's he's kicking. But we don't. He doesn't. He doesn't understand why he's upset yet, and I think that's why it hasn't come out out yet. But he is upset. It'll come out in three months, but during that, Damon he really just wanted to give up. S- Stefan has this big idea to kidnap Mary Lou. <sighs> um, like I said, the Fred trap. And yeah, yeah, he's he's the. Nora That's thinks okay. Nora <laughs> thinks Bonnie's in on it. Nora spent like this whole episode like warming up to Bonnie being like Bonnie's BFF. And then like breaks into her dorm room and starts crying and blowing her nose into her t-shirts. It wasn't even a t-shirt. It looked like a nice shirt that she blew her nose into. It was an ugly top. It was. It was an ugly top. That was And then blames um he, Bonnie he, for yeah. Yeah, she blames Bonnie for thinking, like, she was in on this whole thing when she clearly wasn't. So, amidst all this, not only did Damon and Stefan get ambushed when they were in the bar, but then later on, Julian uh, comes in and stabs Damon with his fancy little sword. His fancy little shove your soul into the Phoenix Stone sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Damon is dead. His, well, Damon's yeah. dead. His soul is Damon, is trapped into yeah. this sword, but Damon's dead. That's basically I mean, his how body, it's been described. His body is, hasn't desecrated yet. It it's hasn't still, desiccated. Yeah, desiccated. Um, I it, mean, God, sorry. It still needs to dry out. Mm-hmm. So I mean, as long as they keep his body nice and fresh. He's not dead yet. It could still desiccate, and as well, long no, as they, it's going to as long as they enter feed. the yeah, as long as they enter it back in, he'll be fine. Yeah. But um, then just when you think it can't get any worse, the end of the episode comes along, and uh, Nora comes in and does the same thing to Stefan. He deserved it. He did deserve it. <laughs> Hmm? He's being yeah, stupid. It, it was his his plan blowing up in his face, but I was still very surprised. I was surprised by that moment. I was. That both, I was now, too. Now both of them get to spend the next, you know, I guess three months or longer in their own special hell. And we well, we've seen we've seen Damon's. We've yeah. seen some of Damon's. I mean, who knows it's what the Civil how, War, and we know that that Damon like had some issues during the Civil War. We know he left and went AWOL. Um. So, we don't know why, and we're going to get some of that background finally. This is something that, like, was set up in, like, season two or three. That was before mm-hmm. he, but the Civil War is before he became a vampire. Yes. Right. right. I think there's going to be, I think there's going to be more to it. Like, that's just, you know, the first bit of it, mm-hmm. because it's for every terrible thing he's ever done, mm-hmm. which, let's face it, this is Damon. This is, mm-hmm. you know, he's probably done more horrible things than most vampires. <laughs> Right, so I want to see it play out. Like I really hope they keep this played out for a little while because I want to see what more think, of this other world. What do you think Stefan's is going to be? Well, he was well, a stuff he did when he was a ripper. Yeah, Some Stephen of it he was, doesn't remember, but it's there. Stefan was a ripper, it. so his is going to be probably just as bad as Damon's, but in a different way. Right. I like mean, the severity is going to be the same, but it's going to yeah. be a very different punishment, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, we know he went through big, like, Killing sprees, like huge, like massacring, like fifty years rippers. long, mass, yeah, mass, mm-hmm. rippers, killing sprees, kind of like yeah. you know, Jack the Ripper kind of, but you know, vampire esque mm-hmm. you know, thing. So to see, I want to see, see, I want to see some of this. I really want to hope they play this out for at least a couple episodes, to where we get to see this other world, this this whole you know. I don't know the CW, they <sighs> they. They pull shit on us all the time, or we want something really, really bad, and they're like, yeah, "Nope, yeah, we're gonna yeah. take, we're I gonna feel shorten like this." They're now. gonna handle a lot of it in flashback more than they are gonna be him yeah. trapped there. It's gonna be mm-hmm. something triggers 
in the episode that's going to have a like similarity to something that happened in the hell and i think that's how they're going to handle that they're going to deal with these sideways flash back things so you think we're gonna come back three months later? They're gonna be out of their the the hell. And... Uh, Damon is going to be yeah, in the the be. preview that we see at the end of the episode. The preview we see for next week. Um, hell is other people is the name of the episode. Uh, Damon wakes up after having been dead for three months. Uh, Bonnie wakes him up, and he's having a very hard time determining what exactly is real. We see mm-hmm. in the clip Damon attack Caroline, and Matt screaming at Damon to stop. Um, this is next week or after the winter break? After the winter break, winter break, three months. Okay. After the break, yeah. All right. Um, and then uh, Julian still has Stefan's body, uh, and has thrown around the idea that he may burn it. So they need to get Stefan's body back before he burns it, and then they can't. Otherwise, they will not get Stefan back. Is is what was said in the the preview. Mm. Mm-hmm. They won't get Stefan back in his Stefan body, but anybody I mean, we, we don't know. I mean, we we, we've seen know. we've seen what happens when another vampire is entered into a body, so it doesn't a really work body. very well. Yeah, no yeah. vampire body. Hmm. But we also know in the the three year flash forward that Stefan's back in his body, so mm-hmm. don't really have too much to worry about there. Yeah, that's kind of given that part away. Yeah, um, but I think the most touching part of this episode was uh, Caroline visiting her mother's grave her first christmas without her yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i think that just kind of like it wasn't really the last scene but it was like the second to last scene just it the way that been. yeah just the way that lily's funeral been. wasn't the first scene it was the second scene so mm-hmm. it's like the the two things almost bookmarked you know bookended each other mm-hmm. so it was a really, it was sad, and at the same time, like, I, I liked that scene. Yeah, I did, too. So I, I really thought Arlo Arik was going to show up <laughs> for a second. But, uh, yeah, I, I think it, that it, 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 it definitely had its purpose, that Caroline's going through some things, and this is, he, she needs her mom right now, and can't. Can't. Yep. Uh, was there anything else you guys wanted to talk about? What about Julian's new uh, lackeys? I'm new oh, lackeys. Yes. They were friends from the past. Except the one. The one was new. Except the one. Yeah, I met him well, last week Well, I mean, we've Portland. never seen them before, so right. technically they're new lackeys. Yeah. <laughs> they came out of nowhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are mm-hmm. they... So this question is, are they sticking around or were they just a blip? I, I don't know. Probably both. Notice that none of them had any speaking lines. Not You're a right, single none of one of talks. them spoke. No. So either they had the bow treatment, or they're just no, one-off, char- they one-off characters. Scars. We would have seen them. Um, yeah, they, they would have made a. Yeah, they would have made a. More toward deal one-off characters because uh, characters that do not have speaking roles are technically considered extras. Um, yeah, and extras get paid much, much less. Yeah, you get paid more for having speaking roles. Yeah. Even if the speaking role is, hi. Mm-hmm. Literally, you can have two lines and it's like a good chunk more. It's double oh. your pay. Yeah. If not more. So, yep. Uh, I think that about does it overall. Good Christmas episode. Yeah. For Christmas, it was decent for an actual, like, mid season. I mean,. The two things that get you is that both Damon and Stefan are in the Phoenix Stone now, but the rest yeah, of it. Big ending. Yeah, big ending. Mid-season dead. finales usually don't have much substance. It's really always the the final like the cliffhanger. Yeah, the cliffhanger moments. It's like, yeah, bitch, really we're gonna cool. we're gonna hang you over a cliff and make you dangle for three months. Good luck. Yeah, basically. The episode was quiet. Uh, I definitely but, am interested to see what goes continues with, with Caroline's hormones and know how that pl- that plays out. But yeah, it was kind of quiet until the, like the big ending. I'm not dangling because I know it's going to happen in right, three years. I know. Of the how many shows have I covered Midwinter so far? I've done. We haven't talked about Supernatural, but I've 
we've watched yeah. and talked about Shield, and both of those episodes have me dangling much more than this does. I am especially like Shield has me like over a volcano, not just off a regular old cliff here. Okay. I don't know. But I liked this episode. Like overall, I, I liked, liked this episode. It. Yes, good. overall, but it's you know it just didn't hit me like you know like Nikki was saying. It does not have that impact of a midwinter break. It wasn't that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't. This is gonna be horrible for the next three months. I need to see if, this. If there was no flash forward, it would have been exactly that. No. But we because we know what's gonna happen know. in three years, I'm not. I'm not worried. I'm just. I didn't scream, curse, ha- you know. Yell! Why well, have so many questions or anything like that? Unfortunately, mm-hmm. there was no worry. Anything out of the Vampire Hunter at all this episode after the big setup last week? Who is she? Yeah, we still don't know. Yeah, we still don't know who this person is. Yeah. So. So. Uh... Mm-hmm. I'm worried. I'm more curious about what happened to Enzo. Where is he? Well, we know that Enzo was in the no, Enzo, truck thing. That. Yeah, whatever. And we know he's alive because he's in the three-year flash forward. Yes. Smooch and Bonnie. Smooch. Yeah, I want to know how that plays out. Smoochy, a smoochy. lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Well, we, see, we saw <laughs> last week Bonnie was in the support group. And she kind of yeah. like hit rock bottom there. So Enzo's just kind of been there for her. That's basically how that plays out. So. And the only characters we don't know the status of due to flash forward are Julian, Nora, Mary Louise, and Bo. And, and Bo. Tyler. And Jeremy. Well, they're, they're, Jeremy hasn't... You know, we've already seen Tyler in one of the Flash Forwards. Yes, you're right. Yeah. We've seen him. He's been in a couple blips. So, But still very just blips. Or we Matt. Just... We haven't seen Matt in the Flash Forward, have we? No. Matt's we dead. have not. Ooh. You think Matt's dead? Ooh. He hasn't been in this episode. Like He wasn't in this episode at all. And I was like, I'm still interested in what was going on because it was like all of a sudden he was doing shit. Mm. I'm like, whoa, well, what are you doing? I mean, as far as family goes, he's stuck in Mystic Falls. Everybody else is around Whitmore, and he has no family. He's we're, he's dealing with Enzo right now, so there's no need to have him on a Christmas episode. No, True. right? Yeah, there were, I knew there was no point of him being around, but I still want. I was like, I still want to know what's going on there. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a much better job with the heretics too, because um, what was it, uh, Nora? I actually was invested in that character this episode with her relationship yeah. with Bonnie and everything. And that's the most that I could say about any of the heretics other than, um, what was the the guy's name? He was in like three, Oscar, Oscar, like Oscar, Oscar was yeah. my favorite heretic up to this point, And now I'm, I'm really starting to like Nora. So Nora seems like she can totally adapt. Whereas, you know, Mary Louise, she's stuck, right? She, she can't move past a certain point of her life. She does. She just can't get a grasp on this world the way it is now. Oh, I'm so interested in Bo's story. I I want to know how he got. I mean, yeah. what? the most the most we know is he's he was an Italian opera singer. Yeah, that's all we that's all we really know about Bo. Yeah, and that he can make the coffins disappear, but all that's left over is a pile of wood. Mm-hmm. So I think that about does it. Um, yeah, so we'll be back three months. The show doesn't come back until, uh, March, I believe it is. Um, wow. That's a bit more than three months, but I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a long That's not break. more than three months. Is it? Uh, January, February, March. No, no, it really isn't. No, yeah. okay. We're in the middle of December. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, we're almost in the end of December already. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I am wrong comes back January 29th. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. That's okay. Okay. I'm not upset. Okay, then. Yeah, it's it's once upon a time that comes back in March. That's where I got confused. And then, uh, yeah, then we have Sleepy Hollow in February. Yep. So, Nikki, where can the people find you and all your festiveness? They can find me on Twitter at LadyVenom24, L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-M-24. Excellent. Mike, where can the people find out if you make it out of the volcano or not? Oh, yeah, I've made that analogy. Twitter at Thilladren, right there, T-H-A-L-L-E-D-R-E-N. Kim, where can the people find out if you will join the Salvation Army? 
H U F I T. Oh, I can't even. H U F F I T Y P U F F I T Y. There. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't even know anymore. I don't know either. God, that guy was creepy. You can find me down below at Phenomenon. P H E N O M E D O M. You can also find us all and more on Facebook, Gmail, G Plus, Twitter, MySpace, and right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Uh, if you're watching live, stay tuned next for the originals. If not, go find our podcast for the originals and watch it. There is that. <laughs> Until the end of January. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye, humbug. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs>